and we are back. You know it's me again, but I have a special guest, like I promised. I have Mr. Kai Chow. He is the director of Donegar Group, and he's also the show director of Test World 2021 and other ones previously. So I just wanted to thank you, first and foremost, for taking your time out of your busy, busy schedule to come talk to me. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's a pressure. But I just wanted to definitely ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. Let me try. <laughs> so since you've been in the fashion industry for so long and... Too long. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we've been, in 2020, we've had like such a groundbreaking event that happened in history that we've never seen before. How did you, you know, put this event together? I think first I had to thank Tex World as well as the Donegal Group. Mm -hmm. creating this whole area, this whole place for everyone to meet. Mm -hmm. I think it is almost the first event that in person for fashion in New York. Yeah. So it's quite an excitement that we all join this event and come here and look into what is next for fashion. And yeah. that's why I kind of plan in a way, playing with the emotion. I think it's all new now, talk about what's been happening, all this bad thing. Mm -hmm. Now I try to create some kind of emotion for each story yeah. to express yourself. And the whole reason is because everyone's been locked down for such a long time. Mm -hmm. They all find out who they are as themselves. Right. So each one have their own feeling, each one have their own kind of emotion. So I based on that and build all the strength for the season. Good way. Well, thank you for bringing us all together, especially after this pandemic. Right. I think that's what text well being like have to be a for. Yes. <laughs> but I know that a lot of people are having such a hard time kind of just transitioning out of, you know, comfortable wear, the lounge wear, because that's what a lot of people were wearing in 2021. Well, 2020 is some of 2021. Did you feel like it was important to have the knit wear, like the comfortable lounge wear um, in this years convention? I might even think the other way around. Really? We have enough of all the knitwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today, as I put my leather shoes on, I said, like, wow, that is great. Yeah. The last time I put the leather shoes on is maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> so on the other hand, I probably want a suit, a tailored jacket, something more construction right. to put on and feel new and new fresh. So That's knit right. is very important, but in textile wise, it's not much different anymore. Mm -hmm. In the past, knits become more comfortable. Now woven can do all the character of more knits can done. So in a way, I see it's not a big, big, big kind of question whether people are going to knit or woven. But deep inside my own opinion, think structure or woven kind of clothing will be more important as a fashion trend or what people are looking for to get something they don't have there in their closet. Well, speaking of trends, mm -hmm. we know that the trends in the market has definitely changed, been changed, the landscape has been changed due to the pandemic. Do you feel, in your opinion, since you've been in the industry for so long, do you feel that the pandemic has changed the, the, for, the marketing, the trend forecast of, you know, clients? Yeah. for it to be in a competitive market. Definitely, that would be a big change. Change either for the better or the worse. I think people is be more cautious to spend the money what they want to buy, what they need. Because after the whole year, they might not even purchase anything. Now, they start to purchase again. They might have a different way of purchasing clothing. So I do see fast fashion definitely going to be slowing down a little bit. Yes and then quality and a bit more expensive clothing trend will stay longer. Okay. I think that probably one of the key chain I see is what's happening. Yeah. And then beside that, styling or silhouette might not change as much, but fabric and colors is the most important trend at the moment. I love colors. Yes. I, you can't tell today, but I love colors. Especially anyone. Younger than the Gen C, color is the key for fashion. Okay. Well, speaking of, you, I know you noted. I know I noted that you said fast fashion is kind of just slowing down, and a lot of direct to consumer is happening, especially since Instagram, Pinterest. A lot of people are using different outlets to sell directly to their consumer. Why? Uh, why do you think it's important for independent fashion designers? 
As I say, everyone has their own style now. It's not going to be borrowed as what it used to be. Designer telling you what to wear, you wear. The collaboration of streetwear and couture is such a big thing. So each one will have their own style now. So some will be more streetwear oriented, some will be more loungewear oriented, some will be more naturalist or country kind of looking. So they all look right. So in a way, there's not one narrow fashion trend that's going on at the moment. I like that. It's true. Especially we've all been locked up. Yes. We find ourselves, finally. Yes. Yes. Repurposed. So for my aspiring fashion designers, since I particularly work with emerging and independent fashion designers, and if you guys have not purchased your tickets on September 18th for building your fashion brand, go, check, go purchase them. But if you were talking to a fashion designer that's starting their brands, today in 2021, what would you inform them to include in their business plan? So absolutely be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe what you believe, do what you do best. As I mentioned before, there's no particular trend that will offer to people. So just be yourself in a way, do what you do and do what you can do best. I think that's the most important, be honest. Don't just follow the trend, it's sustainable, I do sustainable. If you're not, if you don't understand what sustainable truly is, don't touch it, don't follow the trend. Right. I like that, y'all hear from the expert himself. <laughs> I hope this makes some sense. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. For your time. Thank you. I, I hope you guys learned a lot. All right. Talk to you girls later. Bye, y'all. Bye now.